Hey everybody, welcome to Naughty Makeup. It's your girl Nefertiti and I'm super super excited that you tuned into my video. Today we're going to be talking all about Merit Beauty and it's a brand new makeup brand from uh, a woman named Hi. Catherine Power and it's a responsible luxury um, beauty brand that's safe for the body and safe for the planet as well. Um, it's a minimalistic brand. Yeah. Merit Beauty is a clean, vegan, and cruelty free brand. And they have coined the, the slogan, less is more, for a more minimalistic, natural look. And that's the theme of their products. This makeup is very, very friendly to the working woman. Somebody who's trying to put their face on really, really fast. But they don't want to look overdone. They want their skin to shine. This makeup is more of a natural look. Lots of times whenever I go out and I'm wearing my Merit foundation and this whole face that you guys see right here, I always get compliments on my skin and how beautiful my skin looks versus, oh, I love that makeup. Like, people don't look at me and think, oh, she's, she's wearing makeup. It's more of like a very natural glow. And I really, really love that about their products. So I want to go ahead in and give you guys my thoughts and my review on this makeup line so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it but i just want to let you guys know before we talk about these products i really really would appreciate it if you guys would go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you guys don't miss any other upload from me okay and also if you guys are loving my face jewelry this is my naughty nose chain um i am the designer and creator of uh, the Nose Ring Queen. I am the Nose Ring Queen. And if you guys are interested in checking out my shop, I'm going to link my shop below as always. And you guys can go and check out my products. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. I was sent these products by Merit to try out. And um, for your first order of Merit, you get this awesome little um, mustard. It's like a burnt mustard tote bag. It's like super adorable. All right, so the first product we're gonna start talking about is the Minimalist Perfecting Complexion Stick. And I have two shades. I have um, Buff and Amber. And they have 20 shades in all. They are complexion sticks. And it's a two-in-one, so it's a foundation and a concealer in one. And from um, the packaging, you guys can see that's very nice and compact and travel friendly. You don't have to worry about it breaking or anything like that because it's in this tube. When you pop off the top, it reveals the foundation. You can just like use the bottom to kind of like twist it up. Now what I can say is that amber shade that I have is a little bit more delicate in the capsule. It's not... It, if, if you open it too roughly it could pop out so you have to be very careful I notice all the shades aren't like that it's just this amber one that I picked up that's a little I don't know it's a little it's a little more tender so you just have to be you can't be all crazy trying to open up the capsule so just be light-handed with that so they have 20 shades and I'm gonna um, read to you guys the um, definition of each shade so buff is explained as a Buff is explained as a tan with neutral undertones. And Amber is described as deep tan with caramel undertones. And I have to say, Amber, as soon as it's applied onto my face, it melts in with my skin complexion like a dream. And also, I would say that this foundation and concealer is very, very big, poor, texture skin, girl friendly. Um, it's very forgiving to my skin type. Um, I'm actually working on that right now to get my pores to shut more and to um, regenerate my skin. And um, so far from using this, this foundation, it does not draw attention to my textured skin at all. Like I really love that about this foundation. From my experience from wearing it, um, I would say don't pile on a lot of it because if you put on too much... Um, your face starts to feel a little bit heavy, but if you use it as it's supposed to, as it's applied, as if if you use it how it was intended, you're not gonna feel like if your face is heavy or anything like that. You actually feel like you're not wearing any makeup at all. And I would say that you can definitely get um, 
light to medium coverage with this. Um, but more so on the light side, I don't have tons and tons of scars to cover up. But if you did, I would start out with the buff complexion. If, 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 if you're my skin tone, you know, and just start to spot correct all over my face, wherever it is that I want to like hone in on first and then apply my light coating over that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the foundation. I think it's really, really awesome. If you're on the go, you know, I've taken these products with me traveling and applied them and I get the same flawless look because it's like super easy to put on. It's not difficult at all. Um, I would recommend this foundation if you're a beginner or even if you're more seasoned like me with makeup because sometimes even though you're seasoned and you know how to apply all different types of makeup sometimes you just want something more simple and this really gives me that beautiful natural look without me having to do very much and if you're somebody who's not familiar with it with makeup these steps to get this look is not hard at all like there's no way you can mess this up you know their highlighter is called the day glow highlighting bomb and it comes in a tube and um, they describe it as made for daytime. Made for daytime, this highlighter gives a very dewy balm, balm machine with zero sparkle. So it's not a sparkle highlighter. If you're looking for that trophy wipe type of thing, like if it was Fenty, this is not what you're looking for. This is more of a natural glow. They have two colors. They have champagne. Um, excuse me, they have Kava, which is a, described as a champagne color, and then they have Bounce, which is what I have, and I'm swatching for you guys, which is a rose gold, and it's so beautiful. It just melts into the skin, and it just gives a very, very natural dew to the skin. Very, very beautiful. So the next product that I have here to talk about is their Flesh Balm Cheek Color, and it's described as a cream tint that melts into the skin for a lit from within color that stays flush all day. And they have they have five shades. And I got the shade Mood. Mood is described as a soft burgundy color and it is absolutely adorable. So in regards to the blush, it's a very, very beautiful wash of color. It's um, normally not something I would probably reach for, but the fact that I gave that type of color a chance, I really, really like how it looks on my skin. And the formula is awesome because it's really difficult to overdo it. Like usually whenever you put on blush, you could probably <laughs> take it too far very quick, but it's a very nice light formula, so there's no way that you can mess that up. I really feel like this whole collection was thought about very, very deeply. And I like that about it. My son would not let me do the video without breastfeeding or trying to help me. So, yes. <laughs> so the next product that I have here is the Merit's Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. And it's described as a slick of sheer color infused with rosehip oil and shea butter for healthy lips all day. Um... They have four shades, and I got the shade Sangria, and um, Sangria to me is like a very, very light wash of color that would be, I wouldn't even call it a nude really, but I guess it gives kind of like a rosy complexion to my lips. It gives like a very light, light gloss of color. Um, this is very similar to the Kosas. Um, lip oils but um, there is some differences about them what I mean that is similar about them is that they're basically both lip oils with a light wash of color but the texture and the feel once you put it on the lips is not the same um, but yeah it gives a very nice wash of color I like to usually wear this I like to usually wear this with a lip liner um, but today in this video, I just wanted to just show you exactly what the products look like without any other product with it, you know? I just wanted to show it to you just exactly how it's supposed to be worn. The next product that I have here to talk about with, uh, for you guys is the Clean Lash Lengthening Mascara by Merit. And it's described as your go-to mascara for everyday tints, lengthens, and lifts lashes with no smudging ever. And I've worn this, um, 
It seems like every time I'm reviewing some kind of makeup, I'm always letting you guys know how I wore it down, basically. Like, I did just about anything you can imagine. Cried in it. Sweated. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really tested it out. I wore it for a long time. And I can say that it's not marketed as a waterproof mascara, but it doesn't bleed when you cry. You know, it just stays intact. And I really, really like that about this. Um... Also, it feels very nourishing on the eyelashes. I'm not a eyelash. I'm not a um, eyelash connoisseur. I'm not a mascara connoisseur. Um, I, obviously, throughout time, because I just love makeup, I've tried many, many different mascaras, clean and commercial. But this mascara is very, very unique to its kind because. When they say it's a clean lash, that's a very, I would call it a nourishing lash. Like it feels, it feels nourishing on the, on the, on the hairs. Like it's so smooth. Like I've never had an eyelash, um, a, a mascara feel like that when I'm applying it. Most, um, mascaras when you apply it, they feel very drying and like it just like, I don't know, like kind of like mold into place very quickly and makes your lashes feel hard I guess this is different this gives a nice hole and a very like natural lashes but better like your lashes when you get out of the shower you know what I'm saying and and you kind of want to hold that nice sleek look this really gives a nice sleek look to your lashes and I absolutely I love that about it so far it just has one shade and it comes in black and this is definitely one of my favorite um, products from the line. So the next product that I have here to talk about is the Merit Brow 1980 Volumizing Pomade. And it's described as a nod to the brows of the 80s. This pomade adds color and volume for healthy fluffy arches. And they have three shades. I got the darkest shade which is in black brown. And I really um, think this is a nice simplistic um, brow pomade. This is a really nice um, eyebrow pomade. It doesn't really remind me of anything that I've tried so far in regards to products, clean products, or commercial products that um, had to do with lashes. Uh, it's more, it's not a very wet formula. It's more of a um, drier formula I would say and it gives your la your your brows a very nice hint of color and it also holds them in place nicely it doesn't just give them color and they feel kind of movable it somehow sets it feels like it's set on your face and with this product I feel like you can do your brows before you put on your foundation or after and it'll still give the same effect you know, usually you have to try. You can either do your brows first, your brows last, and end up with halo brows. But with this, it really doesn't matter. Throughout this whole collection, what are my personal favorites? I definitely say it would be the Clean Lash and the Minimalist um, Foundation Stick, conce Foundation Concealer Stick, and the Blush. Those are my top three favorite products from this line. Um, like I said, the foundation is a go-to for me because it's very forgiving to my textured skin. I'm so glad that you guys stayed till the end. Um, please make sure that you like and comment and subscribe and drop any comments below. If you've tried Merit or if you're thinking about trying it, you know, um, let's get the conversation started. I've left all the information um, regarding these products below in the description box and you can go check it out for yourself. And I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you in my next one, okay? Bye, guys.